fastest trains in the world. Since their appearance in the middle of the 20th century, high-speed trains have awoken the world's interest because they can travel to certain places in an extremely short time. Get ready to meet the fastest trains, pure adrenaline. Number 10. Class 955 Shinkansen. Also known as 300X, in 1996 it reached a speed of 274 miles per hour in the Tokaido Shinkansen rails between Naibara and Tokyo. Three years before, it reached a speed of 264 miles per hour, a mark also shared by the Class 952-953 Shinkansen, the fastest train working at that time. It was built upon the request of the Central Japan Railway Company, the company that controlled the railways in Central Japan. A lot of companies, designs, and technologies were used building this train. For example, the main wagons have different noses, being the sixth one more pronounced than the sixth. Everything was built with aluminum and extremely light material, which reduces the friction and allows the train to go faster. The first wagon was made by Mitsubishi, the second and fourth one by the Nippon Shiro Company, the third one by Kawasaki Heavy Industries, and the fifth and sixth one by Hitachi. The train was active between 1994 and 2002. Number 9. Transrapid 07. Transrapid is a name given to a series of trains manufactured in Germany that uses magnetic levitation and works above a beam which works as a trail and is placed a lot of feet under the ground. Germany spent more than a billion dollars developing these trains that has only had a few commercial uses. Most of these vehicles have even been tested in the Elflins Practice Railway, placed between Dorpen and Leithen in Germany. A lot of European tourists visited that place to board these fast trains. In 1989, Transrapid 07 reached a speed of 270 miles per hour, and in 1993, a speed of 297 miles per hour a true achievement, and nowadays, the Transrapid 07 serves as a report center for the Munich airport. However, not everything is bad news for the Transrapid. One of them could have the commercial use in Shanghai. Number 8. CRH-380A It's a train made by the CSR Corporation, a Chinese company dedicated to the investigation and development of railway materials. The railway between Beijing and Shanghai was used by this train to reach a speed of 302 miles per hour. The Chinese government built a lot of these in 2009, 100 with 16 wagons and 40 with 8, although each one of them worked under the speed of 236 miles per hour, always being monitored by software. The CRH-380A was the continuation of the CRH-2 trains, which could only reach a speed of 155 miles per hour. A lot of foreign technology was replaced with Chinese technology and the results were amazing. The CRH-380A was designed to travel at a speed of 217 miles per hour. The train had about a thousand speed tests and the body was built with thin aluminum. It was so light it only represented 17% of the train weight, which could accelerate from 0 to 236 miles per hour in just 7 minutes. Although they were the most efficient and fast, the Chinese trains were involved with some problems. Kawasaki Heavy Industries accused the CSR Corporation of stealing technology from their Shinkansen trains and even patenting and trying to sell it to other countries. Number 7. CRH-380BL In 2009, the Chinese government manufactured another series of high-velocity trains the CRH-380B, which had 8 wagons, and the CRH-380BL, which had 16 wagons. The first copies were presented in September 2010. One of the CRH-380BLs reached a speed of 302.8 miles per hour in 2011. This was the motive why it was placed as the main commercial vehicles between Shanghai to Hangzhou and from Shanghai to Nanjing. However, they were replaced because of failures, or at least that's what the Chinese government said. A lot of people thought its withdrawal was because in July of that year, two trains of another series crashed into a bridge, derailing four wagons and killing 40 people, which is known as Wenshu train collision. Certainly, a few months later, the CRH-380BL would come back to the rails. 
number six. Shanghai Trans Rapid. It reached the speed of 311 miles per hour. It was built by the Germany company Siemens and Thyssenkrupp, whom already had experience building magnetic levitation trains known as Trans Rapid, which previous versions could reach a speed of 279 miles per hour like the Trans Rapid 07. These vehicles float and never touch the railways because of their opposite poles magnets installed in the rails. When it's working, the Trans Rapid elevates 5.9 inches above the rail. This magnetic field prevents the train and rails from touching, which allows it to reach high speeds. The Shanghai Trans Rapid has a length of 502 feet and 12 feet in width. It connects the international airport with the Longyang Road Station, where the passengers can board the train to travel to Shanghai. Its cost was $1.3 billion. This is because every 25 meters of the trail's pillars, the ground was wet and unstable, so for safety, they had to dig 70 meters deep to place the pillars. The tickets weren't enough to pay for the train, so the company in charge of the administration was going broke. That's why it was closed, and instead of amplifying the rails to Beijing, the space was used for the CRH 380A. Number 5. TGV Atlantique It's the TVG train generation, which is used from Paris to Rennes, also known as the LGV Antalique. The company in charge of its construction was the Alstorm Multinational, which built 105 units listed from 301 to 405. Each one had a silver painting and measured 779.2 feet in length and 9.5 in width. In general, trains were built with two locomotors in the extremes and 10 wagons in the middle, in which the central one was a comfy bar. In 1990, the 325 unit became the fastest train in France, reaching a speed of 320 miles per hour. This vehicle was modified in a few aspects. Its wheels were bigger and the braking system was more potent. Also, it had just five parts, the locomotors at the extremes and three middle wagons. Number 4. ML500R it was an experimental train built in 1979. It belonged to the line of experimental trains ML500, which was characterized for their cooling system in their magnets. It measured 44 feet in length and 11 feet in width. They had a sober aspect, being silver its only color with little windows, different from other ML500s which were red and white. They weren't manned when it reached a speed of 321 miles per hour. This opened a path for the Shinkansen Japanese trains. After a lot of experiments, it was sent to the Osaka Transport Museum, and in 2014, after the closing of this establishment, they moved to the Railway Technical Research Institute Center, where they're placed now. Number 3. TGV POS This train model used by the French company SNCF was used to connect Sweden, France, Germany, and Luxembourg. POS means Paris, Ostfrankreich, Süddeutschland, or Paris, East France, and Southern Germany. It has a potency of 199 miles per hour in their commercial trips. In 2007, a vehicle with the number 4402, composed of three wagons, reached a speed of 357.2 miles per hour in the route Paris to Strasbourg, which was disposed to take the speed test. This was a milestone in the history of French trains. Number 2. MLX-01 These Japanese trains were built between 1996 and 2001 with experimental purposes. They built a lot of designs, one with a rounded wedge nose and another with a duck nose, all this to prove which one would be more aerodynamic. The extreme wagons measured 98 feet in length, while the middle wagons measured between 68 and 78 feet in length. In 1997, an MLX-01 reached the speed of 330 miles per hour, and in 2003, another MLX-01 with three wagons broke its own record, reaching 361 miles per hour. This success would be continued by the construction of the LO series, which would be faster and more commercial. Number 1. LO Series the LO series are the fastest trains in the world. It broke its own record, reaching the speed of 374 miles per hour, just four minutes after starting its route. 
That day, the LO series held that speed for 10.8 seconds, traveling 1.1 miles. The principal wagon and the final one can carry up to 24 passengers, while the middle wagons have a length of 80 feet and can carry up to 68 passengers. This series belongs to the Central Japan Rail Company and was presented in the middle of 2012 and made available to the public for commercial use with a speed of 314 miles per hour. It's expected to build a rail which can connect Tokyo with Nagoya in 40 minutes and then travel to Osaka. The first part would be completed in 2027 and would cost $46.4 billion and the complete rail would cost up to $74.7 billion and be ready in 2045. To finish everything, it's planned to sell LO trains to the United States. The Obama government was really interested in buying these trains and making two railways from Houston to Dallas and another one between Washington DC and Baltimore. But with Donald Trump, the negotiations have stopped. These were the fastest trains in the world. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe and activate notifications so you don't miss any of these videos. See you next time.